Now, staying with the local tourism industry, it has been a big part of the local economy, thanks in part, as we heard, to overseas interest in K-pop and Hallyu. And many visitors have also been showing satisfaction with their visit to Korea. It seems the industry is succeeding in finding new ways to appeal to tourists, but there's more to be done. So, Bo Bin reports. South Korea's tourism industry has been growing into a new economic engine for the country, drawing in more and more visitors from overseas. According to the Korea Tourism Organization, a total of 1.2 million foreigners came to South Korea in February, up 15 percent from a year earlier. And it seems that they're finding ever more varied reasons to come too. I've never been here before, but I love, I'm a foodie. I love food. Like, that's literally the first on my list. And after that, obviously, it's a beautiful country in general. I, I like the, the culture, the architecture, uh, the, the fashion, and the people are also really nice. Um, I like um, uh, shopping here. They have, like, uh, very, very unique stuff. You can't find it any, anywhere else in the world. And also the food, street food is amazing here. With the popularity of Hanyu, South Korea's tourism was driven by K-pop, food and culture. But recently, as the tourism industry has grown, it has also become more diverse. Recently, tourism has been changing in terms of the reasons people visit Korea. It's becoming diverse in the sense that tourism itself is about finding value. This is becoming a trend right now. Going forward, diversity in South Korea's tourism industry will mean broadening its appeal to new markets. The future of tourism for South Korea is about responding to the market. As our tourism market develops and expands to the Middle East and to ASEAN countries, the future will be about building a new culture. That's something that would contribute positively to South Korea's economy. Sobobin, Arirang News.